released last year, so Crowd Academy released last week, and I have been obsessing over the game. Seriously, though, I've run into so many beta testers in-game, and I just wanted to say you guys are so amazing. Despite of the game being only in beta, the developers of the game has been teasing us with the upcoming updates, and the community has been creating so much content to bless our eyes and our little hearts. <laughs> so let's dive into the wonderful teasing content and... Uh, what do people say now? Oh yeah, spill the tea. Oh my gosh, my reader card's growing up! <gasps> oh, you're so pretty! Oh my gosh, look at me in Crown Academy. Seriously, normally I don't dress like a spider, but when I saw these wings... I just had to buy them and use them for my outfit. Oh, and then I recolored my butterfly wings. <coughs> okay, shameless plug for my UGC item. Link in the description. <coughs> I uh, recolored it to red to match the overall color scheme. Like, seriously, isn't this so pretty? This is actually something that not every player seems to know about Crown Academy. But you can actually recolor and reposition any Roblox item you own and wear into the game. So if you don't really have a lot of pearls, which is their in-game currency to dress up your character, you don't need to worry about looking less fabulous than others. I mean, first of all... You get free access. These, all of these different body types are for free. So even if you do not have any of the Crown Academy items, just select the chippy girl body and bam. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fix that. Like, you look fabulous right away. But we're actually going to fix that. So this is how I initially arrived in Crown Academy. So I could just put on the chibi girl body and it looks so cute, right? But then if you want to change up a little, uh, you can definitely... Definitely go to wearing and then just click on this rainbow cog wheel. And in here, you can recolor any items that you own, including, you know, even your hair or your outfit. But you can recolor them. So if I want to have them be, I don't know, blue, I can do that. And I can even tweak this so I can put it up, down, or even like, you know, turn it a little bit. You can also reset if you don't like it. You can scale. Oh, that actually. <gasps> That, that is one big butterfly killer. Technically, this is not tea, but I still wanted to show you guys because this is one of my favorite features in the game and not many people seem to know about it. So let's cover the biggest piece of tea, or should I say a cup of tea. On Crown Academy's official Twitter, they posted this image and said, Some of the Crown alumni have already discovered the first set of clues on their quest to find the dark crown of origins if you have been playing crown academy and exploring the maps you probably have come across other signs that look like this with suspicious riddles that seem to hint us on something that might be coming to the game so i was actually able to find some hints which all are located in crown academy campus I'm actually going to switch back to my spider outfit because I just love this outfit so, so, so much. The first one is in the Stonehenge, which is, I believe, somewhere close to the waterfall. Hold on. Let me find my way around here, guys. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just a little bit challenged. So you have to go where there's campfire. And right before you arrive to the campfire, you will see the Stonehenge right here. And there's a treasure chest, so let's grab that too. By the way, all throughout Crown Academy maps, you'll see these chests. Which, you'll see that it's supposed to give you 100 pearls, but I actually got 600 because I have the 6 times multiplier, which is totally worth it. And you'll see that there is a countdown. So you can come back here after 24 hours and claim it again. Anyway, we're here for the clue. And here is the clue. Find what is found where nobody looks to clues only. And one is a book. So the Stonehenge in real life is associated with so many mysteries. And when I googled about Stonehenge, this was the first thing that popped up. So according to this, the earliest stage of the monument, which they're referring to Stonehenge, is one of the largest cremation cemeteries known in neolithic oh my gosh i'm so sorry if i mispronounced that britain cemeteries dark magic crown of orange origin right that's what it said so yeah so this is going to be something cryptic but then the riddle is undeniably 
undeniably talking about the clue at the library. So, let's go to the library. And I already know where the clue is in the library because like I said, I've looked around, right? So if I can find where the waypoint is to the library, which by the way, if you don't like these waypoints and you have all of the places memorized in your brain because I can't seem to remember, you can always just turn off the map waypoints and your screen will be nice and squeaky clean. I just need them on because I am directionally challenged. Let's go to the library. So when you enter the library, you want to go to the top here. Oh, okay. Not here, but you want to go, you want to go underneath and then go up here. What? They moved it. It used to be right here. There used to be... Oh my gosh, guys, I am legit lost. There used to be a book here on some sort of magic stand. And they... Oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so silly now. So here we are. Oh, wait. We just saw that little scribble doodle hieroglyph. How do you say that? Anyway, we saw that not... Um, not so long ago at the Stonehenge, but that is there. And then here is the clue. And it says, complete you are not. A clue you need to see. Various clues to find. Everyone in a row. Capitalize your mind and your treasure will come in time. And we are at the library, right? And this thing looks magical. It's something that I would say a mage would have. And we're at a place of knowledge, aka library. So perhaps that's a hint. To what's to come, like something to do with knowledge and magic and mage. Ooh, math. I'm not gonna go though. <laughs> I have no idea where this is trying to point us though. I, don't, I have no idea, but at least we know where this clue is, this riddle is. Now the next clue that I have found is actually somewhat hidden. So let's go. This one place that we're gonna go to don't even have a waypoint. So you actually just have to find it. It's a stable. And it's near pet care, which kind of makes sense because pet care, you get to take care of your unicorns. So right by pet care is a stable right here. And you have to kind of go towards the stable and quickly turn left. And this way you'll see there is a crack into the wall and there's a hidden cave. And again, there is a treasure chest. So let's go claim that. Didn't we see the symbol at the library? Am I just thinking? I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we just saw that symbol at the library. And here it says, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many signs do you find what is behind? No, how many signs to... How many signs to find what is behind? I don't know. How many signs do we need to find? And what are, What is this? Is this a number pad? Do, do I need to... Do I need to click it in order or something? Is this a number pad? <laughs> If so, I don't know. But anyway, judging by the location, we are in a hidden cave. And there's a treasure chest here. So maybe, perhaps, it has something to do with, I don't know, finding the treasure that is hidden somewhere. I think I know where the other clue is. But before that, I want to quickly go check out the math class because there are numbers here and I feel like that is kind of convincing. Uh, the first clue led us to the library and I did find a clue in the library. So I feel like it makes sense for us to go check out the math class and collect some pearls on the way. All right, let's go check out the math class. All right, let's look. Uh, nope. Do I need to click on some of these books? Am I supposed to click on the, on the books in order? Like, is there an order I need to click the books in? Maybe behind the board? No. And absolutely nothing over here. Unless... Like, click on the books is a thing that we're supposed to do. Right? Maybe I need to look into those clues a little more. But anyway, I'm here to show you guys where the clues are. Uh, and I don't see a clue in the math class. I personally don't see it, but if you guys actually have seen it... Wait. There are... Okay, these don't match the symbols that we've been seeing next to the riddles. But they are some sort of hieroglyphics, right? So am I at the right place? Is this where I need to really look? 
I haven't seen anything yet, but if you guys do find something, please let me know in the comments or let me know by tweeting at me. Anyway, we're going to leave here. We're going to come back here some other time. I'm, I'm definitely going to search left and right in the math class, but I want to show you guys the other clue that I know is in this realm to find the next clue, um, which is actually the same clue that you saw in Crown Academy's official Twitter, you have to go by this really big red brick building where they have a sign in the front that says coming later in time and you go behind the sign. And there's the clue. This is the clue you saw on the Twitter page. Where a student sleeps, they place their papers and lock them up. Search till you are warned. What rhymes with forms? And there is that symbol again. There's that symbol. So first we saw the one that looks like letter M. And then we saw that same letter M looking one in the library with this little arrow looking one. And ever since then, we've been just seeing this arrow over and over and over. So are they supposed to be like a key code or something? Am I supposed to click the number pad somehow in certain order of these little symbols? I don't know. I mean, Crown Academy Twitter said that we are missing a very vital clue that is only known by one of the creators. So I went on to search for more tea on each developer's Twitter. So the first person that I went to is Pixelated Candy, who was the queen of Crown Academy. And she just retweeted this. And then here it says, follow our developers below. You'll never know where another clue might pop up. So we're gonna go to Rudy the Hootie, which is Eli. And has Eli said anything? Thank you for 3,400 followers. Congratulations, Eli. Crown Academy is my dream come true. Aww, wholesome pictures of kittens. I don't think he's posted any clues or hints. So time for us to go to Clone T, which is Max and their lead scripter. And Max, oh my gosh, he posts so much about like the back end stuff about Roblox. He is so smart. Like I will never have the brains like Max. He is so smart. But we are here to find some clues and tea about Crown Academy. And I personally don't see it. Do you guys see anything? I personally don't see any. So it's time for us to check out Endless Fun, which is their builder. By the way, Endless, Devin, your builds are amazing. I love the immersive world of Crown Academy. So here we are. We're going to look at his tweets. Um, as a reply to the original tweet that Crown Academy posted, he replied, use this the very last clue you're supposed to find before the really hard one for some reason. Loki spoils entire everything. Now I have to change the clues. Wait, Devin is going to change the clues? He's going to change the clues, guys. But anyway, so this is telling me that all of the clues that we have found so far is in all. There's supposed to be something that is supposed to come after. And here I found Breezy, who posted a screenshot of the chat where Endless Fun is in the game and is talking to the people playing the game. And he said it's totally not an ancient riddle built into the campus to expose a dark ancient magic that will destroy the entire world. Oh my gosh, this world just came to be and it's about to be destroyed. That is, that is bad. It, is, it has something to do with a dark ancient magic and it's going to destroy the world, guys. And here it says totally not going to grow a giant crystal out of the ground on the 28th. 28th of this month? Or 28th of next month? 28th of this month, right? It has to be this month. Otherwise, it would say September. And there is, and I think this is the last one. And it says, if you go on Google on the 28th of August, the moon, Saturn, and Mercury, you will know why the giant crystal will grow from the ground behind the dorm building. So is, does this actually have something to do with dark magic? Maybe? So yeah, guys, I'm actually really curious about these clues because it hasn't been long since this game came out and we are already seeing little riddles popping up in places and it's really making each player's mind go like okay what is going on is there a lore behind this like what is going on i personally think that it has something to do with dark magic all of my investigations have told me so and i firmly believe it but what do you think if you have a theory let me know in the comment section below or share with me via twitter before I go, I wanted to showcase some of these beautiful design concepts. Crown Academy actually put out a huge announcement for outfit design concept contest for the price of 
20,000 Robux for each design that wins. So to say that artists went crazy with their submissions is an understatement. Seriously, if you look through, there are submissions after submission. And even in their Discord server, there are so many submissions for this contest. They said they have 10 winners right now and have announced some of them. The first one is Ushiu. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name, but this Monarch Maiden set is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color scheme of it. Just the butterfly theme is just beautiful. It's just, ugh, it makes my little heart flutter. The second set is by Mytilla. My, my till, yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, her set is called Shining Pop Star Set, and it is so pretty. It is simple compared to the first entry, but all of these individually, I feel like would make an awesome piece. Like, you can mix and match this set with so many different items, and they would look gorgeous in your wardrobe. Oh my gosh, just as I was actually checking out their Twitter, they posted the announcement for the third winner and this set is called the rose of the garden set and this set is so pretty i love the color red oh my gosh this set is going to be really pretty once it's made look at the ruffle sleeves with roses that's pretty the corset is going to be beautiful the choker is going to be absolutely fantastic and i also love the crown the rose crown you guys are so talented and i cannot wait to see these in crown academy so that's pretty much it for today's tea spill. If I find any more juicy tea, I will definitely bring it to you because I am obsessed with this game, like I said. For those of you who are sad that you are not able to play this game yet because it's in paid beta, don't worry. There has been a lot of hinting in the community that this game might become public for free really, really, really soon. So hopefully when it comes free, I will see you in the game. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.